Say it is recording. It just stopped at three seconds last time. Okay, it's recording. So, um, I was just, uh, I was sitting thinking, let me try to get comfortable. Okay. This is pretty comfortable. That's, that's comfortable. Okay, so... I was I was just sitting and thinking, you know, deep thinking, deep thought and deep thought. And I was thinking like, man, okay, I'm thirty one now and I'll be thirty two in like two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks. I ain't been thinking. That's crazy how your birthday just sneak up on you. But um I was just, I don't for some reason I was thinking like um, like what my life would have been like if I would have never become attracted to the same sex. So, quote unquote, the straight Jermaine, right? Um, you know, how would I, how would I be as a person? You know, like from sixteen. To 31, so 15, you know, over the last 15 years, if I would have never had to deal with same-sex attraction or struggle with, go through the, in the, uh, what does Joyce Meyer say, the battlefield of the mind, like, having to deal with the shame and the guilt and the confusion and the um, identity crisis, all of that, like, who would I be, like, and what I what I like that person, like the straight Jermaine, like who is that? Like obviously, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm gay. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. Um, I'm just saying because I don't, I, and and I've said this in a lot of my videos. I don't label myself as gay or straight or whatever. I'm I am a follower of Christ and my I find my identity in him. Okay? And that is an ongoing process. So I just uh was just thinking like, you know, and kind of talking to God and saying like, okay, so guys, so <laughs> So all of this was meant to happen to me, like, you know, and um, to to shape who I am as a person, you know, just a just a person. The 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 battle of 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 trying to fight those thoughts like all the time. You know, now I'm in a now I'm in a situation where I was um I was seeing the number thirty four a lot and I was like, Okay, why am I saying thirty four, right? Come on, like, these numbers are getting ridiculous, okay? And I, I was watching Joyce Meyer, and she, I forget what cha what book, what chapter, and but I know it was, like, the th verse 3 and 4. Um, and I, I know it's in the New Testament, but basically the scripture said, um, and, and the sermon was about guarding your heart. And, um, and so the, the verse basically was talking about, um, you know, guard your heart because, um, out of it flows the issues of life. And so I'm thinking, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, obviously wasn't, wasn't doing a good job guarding my heart, um, because that's who God, God is a, he, he He's a heart, I mean, inspector. That's what I've learned. He's a heart inspector, so he's always looking at motive. And so, I was just sitting here thinking, like, okay, so my motives over the last 15 years have basically shaped who I am. Uh, I did an intake process with this ministry a couple of years back when I was really just, uh, I, when I first planted the seed to, to, to really make a change in my life. Like, 
you know how people um, enroll themselves in like therapy or AA or you know any kind of you know anonymous group because they want to make a change. That's what I did. I enrolled in a ministry um, that everyone there was same sex attracted and they're and they they're looking for answers from God. Uh, male and female, and it was an awesome ministry. And during the intake process, the uh, the guy who owned the, it's his ministry. He he, um, I guess, is a therapist as well. And he said, just based off of my whole history, um, history and sexual history, that I'm an opportunist. Um. And that, hmm. so I'm thinking like, okay, so being an opportunist has been something that has been in me before I even start dealing with that. And I just feel like um, it's just something that obviously God put in me and Satan recognized and tried to, you know, flip it for evil. And I, again, I've mentioned that in other other um, videos but in the you know I worded it differently basically saying I, I get tunnel vision and like you know I, I'll seize the moment I'm just a, a person that if I'm in the moment I, 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 I'm, that's it I, I get tunnel vision I forget about everything else even, even things that take more priority if I'm in that moment it's just I don't know who else is like that but um, so you know, knowing that about myself and thinking, okay, well, what if I have, what if, you know, I was the straight Jermaine, basically. Like, would I still talk the same? Would I, would I still make the same facial expressions? Would I still, you know, obviously not think the same, but, you know, who would I be? Would I be more like my brother Matt? Would I be more like my brother Lee? Would I be, you know, it's like, I'm, it's, it's just something that I, I, I guess I've never thought about because I have struggled with it for so long. And now that God is healing me, healing my mind, like I'm starting to notice parts of me coming out, like different parts of me, my personality and stuff that I've either shown, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, hid um, and man, just a lot of shame for a whole lot of years trying to hide. I've been hiding for so long, years, and now I feel like I can finally just come out and be who God created me to be and not worry about what anybody says or, you know, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, that, that was my burden. For a long time, for a long time, I was always worried about what other people thought about me. And the, the, the first thing was I didn't want people to think that I was gay. So I ran to the church because I didn't want, first of all, I never even thought of myself that way until people started saying that when I was a kid. People would say that based, based on the fact that I was a sensitive person and I guess some of my choices as far as what I liked and what I disliked. You know, I played the viola growing up. Loved it. Um, loved soccer. Um, I liked individual stuff. I didn't like team stuff. I mean, I, I didn't mind team stuff, and I'm a very team-oriented person, but um, I don't know. I always, like, just pushed, always shied back and let somebody else have the spotlight. Um... And I don't know if it, it just comes with being a middle child. I have absolutely no idea why I made the choices I did. It just felt natural to do that. And then whenever somebody labeled it, it confused me. And I thought, okay, well, that's what I'm supposed to be like. Because then I had this, in my teen years, I had this, this struggle of being, okay, do I act like my brother or my brother's? who one of them is, you know, beating on his girlfriend. The other one, all they do is smoke and drink and curse and listen to rap music. 
or, you know, do I fight the person that I want to be, which is, I want to, I'm just a person that like to play a lot of games, and I always had, like, this innocence about myself, and, um, I like to smile, I like to laugh, I talk, I guess I, my conversation, you know, I just stayed young for a long time at heart, and it got on a lot of people's nerves, they were like, Jermaine, you're so immature, but I just, I just was afraid to grow up, because I was seeing everybody else grow up around me, and it just seems like, the more you grow up, the more bad things you got into, and I didn't want to do that, but, you know, obviously, that, coupled with what, what people was calling me, because I was growing up, I was still growing, my body was, physical body was still growing, so people would see me, and they would first see me and think, okay, so it's a guy, whatever, and then whenever I open my mouth and I start talking and this, this, and that, that's when it was like, okay, there's something wrong with this person, you know, they not like everybody else, and so it was labeled, I got labeled, so I had a lot to do, but anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts, I kind of start rambling, I wanted to share my thoughts about just, like, who would that guy be? Who would that guy be? Besides, you know, and I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, it's like the other, the, the, the other part of me. I don't know, it's just weird. I was just thinking about that. Sorry.